I'm under attack. Rocks and pine cones are bombarding my sandcastle. Sheets of water are crashing into the walls. I launch my counterattack. I watch as my younger brother is struggling to defend his own sandcastle. But at last, his castle crumbles and sinks into the water. Once again, I stand victorious on the rocks of Lake George, queen of the shoreline. I hear stones crushing under tires, and I look up to see my grandfather pulling into our driveway in his station wagon. He's returned from, from bringing groceries home from the grocery store. We race each other up the hill to greet him and line up one behind the other, each one of us very excited to prove that we are grown up. My grandfather hands two big bags of groceries to my older brother, Lawrence. They're overflowing with fruits, apples, grapes, and oranges. Next, he hands two big bags of groceries to my younger brother, Michael, overflowing with macaroni and chips and other snacks. And I watch as Michael walks back into the house, struggling with his five-year-old arms to carry these two bags. Finally, it's my turn. I step up and I look eagerly into my grandfather's face as he turns to uh, get groceries out of, the, out of the station wagon. He turns back to me. My arms are stretched out, ready to receive. And he, ha he has a carton of eggs. He leans in and says, are you sure you can carry this, Katie? I'm confused. I say, Grandpa, of course I can carry that. I can carry two big bags like my brothers. He smiles, chuckles, shakes his head, leans down and gets eye level to me and says, delicate little girls should only carry delicate little things. I step back, I'm defeated. I feel full of shame. My eyes well with tears. I walk defiantly into the kitchen, put the eggs down, and instead of returning back to help him with the other groceries, I run to my room and I cry. And I cry because it's the first time that I realize that there are things girls aren't allowed to do that boys are. The workplace was created by white men for white men. And in a time where, where employees are demanding that companies step up and transform, companies need to do something now, quickly and meaningfully. My name is Katie Livernice, and as the content director at Jennifer Brown Consulting, I work with our clients to create armies of inclusive leaders so that everyone, no matter who they are, can reach their highest potential. So, if you've ever been told that you should carry the carton of eggs, you should come and talk to us and help us create more equitable workplaces.